Hi. Um, so in this last section in chapter five is temperature. And temperature, it seems kind of like silly to talk about your like temperature, you know, and there are different types of temperature in the world. So the USA uses Fahrenheit for their temperature. So much like the customary system where we use inches and feet and pounds and ounces, um, we use different for um, temperature as well. And in fact, um, most of the world use Celsius. But we don't usually talk about the other one, the scientific temperature, which is Kelvin. And so Kelvin is another type of temperature we don't usually use unless it's for scientific reasons. And so, um, and then Kelvin, it gives it absolute. So really like absolute freezing, absolute boiling, things like that. Um, but in our world and society, we use Fahrenheit and Celsius. And if you travel and you're a traveler, you definitely always have to convert your temperature like on your weather app to Celsius, right? And then Fahrenheit, and then we know. So in this section, we're just going to talk about how to convert quickly. So um, the first thing we do is we're just going to talk about Fahrenheit and Celsius. And, um, and then Kelvin will leave for your chemistry classes <laughs> and physics classes. Okay, so the two, for the two that we have is Fahrenheit and Celsius. We denote them by a C for Celsius and F for Fahrenheit. And if I wanted to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, I would just take 1.8 of the Celsius temperature and add 32 to it. But if I wanted to go the other way from Fahrenheit to Celsius, I would just subtract 32 from that Fahrenheit temperature and divide by 1.8. And essentially what we're doing is just solving for one or the variables. Oh, I love this next one because here it says the boiling water is 100 degrees Celsius. What temperature does water boil at in the Fahrenheit scale? So um, I have a funny story here because um, when I was in college, I had a roommate who, you know, made coffee in the morning. And one morning I noticed that she used the tap water. And I was like, you know, you shouldn't use tap water. You should use our bottled water to make the coffee because it'll ruin the flavor of the coffee and my roommate said no no, no it, it goes to it boils it's at boiling point I said no the coffee doesn't come out boiling it's not bubbling you know and they're like yeah it reaches a hundred degrees and I was like oh I'm like that's a hundred degrees Celsius not Fahrenheit so let's see what the Fahrenheit temperature was my roommate right did it surpass the Celsius or was it under the boiling point of a hundred Celsius so the boiling water is a hundred Celsius so what is that in Fahrenheit so if my roommate used tap water used it through the coffee machine was it 100 degrees Celsius was I wrong but I'm pretty sure I wasn't so let's figure that out but this is what inspired me to write this one particular example so here the Celsius degree that we're looking at is a hundred and we want to see what that is in Fahrenheit so Fahrenheit remember is equal to 1.8 Celsius plus 32 so what it'll be 1.8 times 100 plus 32 Okay, and that's just equal to 180 plus 32, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And we do put the little, in our final answer, we put the little degree symbol and the F, just like here. So that way we know which, um, temperature it is. If you do not include a C or an F, it's actually the measurement of an angle, which we'll learn about in the next chapter. And so if you just use the degree symbol without the C or the F, it becomes an angle of a, de of an, a degrees of an angle. And if you put the C and F, it implies a temperature. So we want to make sure we put that degree symbol in a super little tiny script, a superscript, and then the letter that represents the temperature. All right, so going back to my roommate story, it looks like I might have been right. So just because the coffee surpasses 100 degrees, it doesn't mean it actually reached boiling point in which could purify the water. So 
the whole point of boiling point of water is that it, liquid purifies there, you know, so you could boil any type of water and it would purify at boiling point. So some people do that with their tap water or um, especially when you have a little newborn, you definitely always boil everything. And so I don't think the um, coffee comes out at 212 degrees because that would be really, that would be boiling and it's drinkable. So you have to think it's probably around 160 degrees Fahrenheit the temperature of the coffee, the drip coffee that comes out. All right, so the next thing is water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And one day, if we ever meet, I'll tell you all about my ice machine um, that is pure ice and it comes out clear cubes. So if you think about your ice cubes that come from your fridge, they have a little white in them, right? That's because it's not 100% pure ice cube. So they have these ice machines, and that's why if you go to restaurants or work in a restaurant and you grab ice for someone's Coke, the ice is clear because those commercial ice machines are really expensive. And what they do is they freeze the water at the same temperature water freezes as it melts. So um, it's really cool, and that's how the ice cubes become clear. And I was obsessed and... I bought an ice machine one summer and um, and I just love it because it just doesn't change the taste of my drink. Um, the ice is clear and it just, you could eat it just as like a snack because it's so delicious. So um, so this 32 degrees is, is quite important when it comes to beer ice. <laughs> I know, don't make fun of me. Okay, so water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. What would that be in Celsius? I think some of you can predict what this is, but let's go ahead and figure it out. So they're giving us the Fahrenheit degree. So we know to use that second formula of C equals F minus 32 um, over 1.8. Okay, so the Celsius temperature is... Fahrenheit temperature 32 minus the 32 over 1.8. But 32 minus 32 is zero, and anything, zero divided by anything is actually zero. So this means that the Celsius temperature is zero degrees Celsius. So if you open up your freeze, your fridge, your freeze, your freezer is usually at zero degrees. Um, which is Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, because that's fr the freezing temperature. And then your refrigerator is usually at 37 degrees. Okay. And the last thing is traveling, how we miss it so much. One day we'll be able to travel to Barcelona and use all this information to convert our temperatures. So Mr. Super Travel is researching vacation destinations and sees that the average summer temperature in Barcelona, Spain is 26 degrees Celsius. What is the average temperature in Fahrenheit? So that doesn't seem, that seems cold when you first look at that 26 because we're so used to Fahrenheit. But let's go ahead and look. So Celsius is given to us at 26. So this means we're going to be using that Fahrenheit formula of 1.8 times 26 plus 32. And it's a quick calculation. Let's go ahead and put it in our calculator. 1.8 times 26 plus 32. Great, 78.8. Ooh, Fahrenheit. That is some nice temperature to go to Barcelona and on the, near the, or actually near the beach too, right? So um, 26 degrees Celsius for us it looks a little colder, but it's actually pretty warm. It's almost 80 degrees in Barcelona, Spain in summer. So sounds nice, huh? Okay.